Good morning, gang. Grab your Bible, your notebook, and your pen. Open up your notebook right in there. Psalm chapter 4. Yep, we're going back to Psalm 4 again. Only this time we're going to be in the very last verse. Psalm 4 verse 8. I want you to write in there, God is my... And let's fill in the blank today, okay? Let's read a little bit first, though. So we're going to read... Um, we're going to read from verse 4 down to verse 8. And then we're going to answer that question. Verse 4, it says, Stand in awe and sin not. Commune, talk with your own heart upon your own bed and be still. Think on that. Selah. Offer the sacrifices of righteousness. Oh, we talked about that last time we were together. And put your trust in the Lord. Who should we be trusting in? Ourself? can't get to heaven that way, can't live our life that way. We have to trust in the Lord. Let's see, verse 6, it says, There be many that say, Who will show us any good? Lord, lift thou up the light of thy countenance upon us. The, his countenance, that's his face. Lift your face up to me. Let me see you, God. That's what David was saying. Thou hast put gladness in my heart more than in the time that their corn and their wine increased. Okay, back then they were farmers and their best time of year was in the fall when they got the harvest in. And he says, you've put gladness in my heart more than in the fall when everything came into harvest. And that last verse though is what we're going to talk about today. It says, I will both lay me down in peace and sleep. For thou, Lord, only makest me dwell in safety. Hmm. God is my what? He's my safety. You know, sometimes it's hard to lay down, because sometimes you lay down and you hear noise. And you think, oh, what was that? What was that? Have you ever been in a strange place and... owl was that a, a wolf outside the tent you know um, God wants us to trust in him and sometimes at night it gets kind of hard to trust in him sometimes when we get afraid it gets kind of hard to trust in him and the crazy thing is as you get older you get more fearful and sometimes it's hard to trust in him and go to sleep. Sometimes we need to think about all the problems and, and we can't fall asleep because of that. This verse says, I will both lay me down in peace and sleep. Why? Because thou, Lord, only makest me to dwell in safety. God is my safety. He is my safe place. He is my, he's the one that's going to make everything okay for me. I don't need to worry about tomorrow. I don't need to worry about, I don't know, a test that's coming up. Or, um, I don't know what you might be afraid of. When I was your age, I was afraid of a lot of things. I was afraid of the dark. I'm still afraid of snakes. Hmm, I'm afraid of heights. I'm afraid of what you guys do, diving. Oof, that would be terrifying for me. But I know some of, that you guys probably have fears too. And God wants us to realize our safety doesn't rely on us. Just like our righteousness doesn't rely on us. Where do we get our righteousness from? We get it from God. And our safety comes from Him too. So God is my safety. He's my safe place. Whenever you're fearful, because God is my safety, I don't have to be afraid. Because God is my safety, I can lay down and fall right to sleep. God is my safety. What a great thing. 
You know, there are a lot of people out there that don't have that safety, don't realize that, that God's right there. And you know, when we're laying down in, at night, that's some of the best time to just lay there and pray and ask Him to take care of tomorrow. Ask Him to take care of anything that might be bothering us. And rely and trust on His safety. Are you trusting in Him today as your safety? Hmm. I don't know what the question will be today. It's a hard one. <laughs> but I want you to remember, whenever you're fearful, God is your safety. Not your parents. Not your grandparents. Not money. Not a job. God is where we find safety. I love you. I hope you're having a great day. Bye-bye.